Well, I'll tell you what. Welcome back to another Gary's Mod video. Today we are playing a map called Fever Dream. And if you know me, I love these dream maps, bro. These are really good maps. I'll tell you what. Honestly, I think I'm satisfied enough. I don't think I need to play more of this map. Alright, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace out, be safe, and goodbye. I saw this map on the Steam Workshop. Okay, I was joking. I'm not just going to quit because I broke some bottles. I did make a mess, though. I apologize. What was that, though? Holy shit. Real? That is really cool that you could just break this. Why, why is that even a detail? That is cool. Some of these walls look breakable, too. Okay, now I'm just going a little crazy. What, what, what is... What, 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 what is up with that texture there? That's weird. Okay, enough breaking stuff. That is, you know, very unique, actually. That... I just figured that out. So... I'm going into this map blindly, like I do with all maps. Um, I didn't even test to see it works, if it works. Um, but yeah, this is Fever Dream. Now, I don't know if these are based off of real Fever Dreams or not, but... Oh, wow. If you guys know me, I love myself a good dream map. I don't want to go down there yet, let's... I don't know why I'm, like, paranoid I'm gonna find something now. Like, I... Like, I wanna find more secrets. I feel like this map is just filled with them. But we're gonna stop doing that. Unless something looks obvious. This is an odd bathroom. Oh, what? Why did it lag? That usually tells me something has changed. Interesting room that you got going on in here. I'm I'm just expecting some like jump scare or something. Yeah, like this wall. There's like a little thing there, it makes it look breakable, but it's not. There's a little bit of lag, but that's okay. It's not like terrible, it's just like little spikes of lag. This is kind of ominous. Also, incredibly quiet, there's literally no sound, which makes it more creepy. There's a lot of flashing lights, so seizure warning. Sorry, I kind of started this video off chaotically, but I get excited when I play these type of maps, okay? I could just ignore this area completely, but... Hey, stop. Knock that shit off now, boy. I'm allowed to swear now. little bit okay, have we been here or is that just a similar looking bathroom no we have not been here bathroom is a little different looking actually I think the wall textures are different that is that is disgusting why would you have a wood floor okay hmm. there's glass here Me in. Oh, 
I want to take a shower in here. This is an awkward shower. I gotta say, this one is just straight up pulling out the door. I imagine you can close these, though. I hope. I'd probably just use this one, to be honest with you. I want to fill this thing up with water and just, like, swim around in here. I remember as a kid thinking that'd be cool. To just have, like, a little, like, a massive bathtub. Yeah, this definitely closes, because look at the way it is. Okay. Although it's still kind of... I imagine you can adjust these, but this entire place is really old. When you and the boys want to take a shower together, you know? <laughs> you just take one together. Someone's mother has fallen down in this room, obviously. Yo mama so morbidly obese. She has heart problems. That's not even a joke. That's just depressing. But I, I really like that you could tell that there's something in here. That uh, has caused a dent in the floor. That is just really cool detail. And they didn't even have to add that in, but they did. And that is just really cool. I don't know how much there is to this map. I am kind of going in a circle. what's through here this is the cool hallway this is where we spawned yeah because i was breaking everything i'm just saying i love these dream maps dude and i have not seen this creator at all i, I might have played one of their maps but to be honest i don't always pay attention because my brain is not always there let's break these maybe there's something behind it I apologize if there's a lot of loud noises, but I don't know why. I'm just like, what if there's a secret somewhere, you know? This map just feels like the type of map to have secrets. I mean, I already found out you could break the countertop. That's just really good detail. High voltage. That is ominous. That's an ominous red light coming from that vent. I sure hope no little gremlin creature starts crawling out of there. At a very fast pace. I don't know why it would be a gremlin creature. Right, let's not go down there yet. I like to try to explore my maps a certain way so I don't miss anything. Because I would hate to miss something. I say as I consider going up stairs to make things more complicated maybe this is actually just its own area let's let's, uh, let's go upstairs and see what's upstairs I'm, I'm I gotta see I'm too damn curious I'm hoping there's no jump scares a lot of flashing lights hmm I imagine this is the little gremlin hole that I saw. Look at this outside, it's really unique. I like how there's like purple lights even though the sky is like dark. That's it's kinda interesting. Every time I point something out, I look over at my OBS like I'm talking to somebody. Even though my mic is like not over there. <laughs> I don't I don't know why. I end up like looking over this is this is just random, but I always look over at my OBS like somebody can see me, like I have a face cam or something. Nothing. I like this room in particular actually. This is very cozy in a weird way. Like this is just a cool room. It feels completely unnatural, like it almost feels like an attic that has been turned into like that you could turn into like a bedroom or something but when you turn off your light here you just see how the light comes in and just causes this this is so cool this is oddly peaceful too i don't know why i kind of wish that there was some ambience but 
kind of adds to the creepiness, you know. Now, I don't... I might have said this earlier, but I don't know if this is based off of a real dream. This would be a cool place to live, though. I'm just saying, like, you can make this place look nice. You just gotta redo the floor and maybe some of the walls, you know? What the hell is that over there? Something weird. I don't know. I'm feeling a little creeped out in this room, though. As well. Like, I feel like something could easily be behind one of these pillars. I don't know why I call them pillars, they're just beams. Somebody had diarrhea. I never understand what that texture is, by the way. It looks like... It's just a bunch of rust, you know? Wait, hold up. Oh, okay. For some reason, the door, my mind, the door is right here, but it's actually further down. So that leads to the same room. Something ran through there. That's what the diarrhea marks are. Somebody had diarrhea. Wait, so it's locked on this side, but is it? Hmm. It's almost as if something was hiding in this room right here. And um, whatever was chasing this man hiding in this room did not care about doors and just broke through the wood. Oh my gosh, this is pretty. Pretty weird too. But it's just grass textures. This is definitely made to look like this, huh? Like it's just so empty and open. This would be a good place to build something though. Like if you like maps like this, this is like a good map to mess around with in sandbox too. I like that with open maps. I don't know why, but these wooden rooms make me feel creeped out, man. Like I'm gonna see some shadow figure run behind a pillar or something. A, a beam. Um, actually, it's a transformer. Not a wooden beam. I'm, you know what I do have to say, map creator? Thank you for making this big enough to actually walk through these little vent sections. Because I hate crawling, especially long distances. Okay. This is not where I thought it would be, though. Well, we can get down. I might no clip down, but let's see if there's another way down. This is so interesting. Okay, I'll just be cool and parkour my way down. Weird little spot. Just feels like this was meant to be like a kid's park, but the people who live in this place just never cared about it. Never took care of it, so they just kind of littered everywhere, sadly. I really like this skybox, though. I know it's probably just a simple source one that he picked up, but... I feel like it works really well for this map because it just I love I love it. It's pretty. I don't know why I've been looking at skyboxes so much. It's just so cool. Do they call it the skybox or do they call it something else? Good trash placement. I would put this trash though like against the wall here or something. Can we use this? Oh, sadly no. You don't see a lot of maps where you can actually use those properly, though. I imagine that was quite difficult to actually make in Half-Life, too. <laughs> hmm. Creepy. I think we've been inside that room there. 
This is so weird. Those windows feel like they should be looking outside, but they're not. That's interesting. Might I say. Let's go down. I love source ladders so much. Notch, fix your ladders. I'm really glad that this map doesn't have a bunch of missing textures. I thought this was because of the purple light there. That scared me. I'm not gonna lie. Everything is kind of spawning in front of me, but the door scared the hell out of me because I thought it was just somebody slowly appearing in the distance. But yeah, I thought this little purple light here was like missing textures and I was unhappy for a second. I feel like if I touch the floor, I'll die. That was really weird. I don't know if that was leg or what. It didn't feel like leg, but... It stopped me from sprinting for a second. Sorry. I just thought I'd point that out. What's here, though? You know, I see these cars like this, and I've played other maps that were like this. Where the cars have lights to them. And... Aren't these cars actually, like... Can you actually just turn the lights on, like, when you're creating a map or whatever? <laughs> like, uh, I, I think I've seen actual Source games do this as well, where there's lights on these cars. Cool lighting, by the way. Um, just, it doesn't make sense because it looks like there's just, it would not have any type of power in it. But I feel like I've seen that in Left 4 Dead before. just really weird. That's such a cool graffiti thing. No matter how many times I look at it, I still appreciate it. Seizure warning, oh my gosh. You know, one thing about dreams is that lighting tends to be a thing in my dreams. I know everybody has different types of dreams, but I always have like this weird, like... It's it's really interesting. I think one of the best map creators for a dream. This is a really good map, by the way. But Conical G makes really good dream maps because I've had similar dreams where uh, you know how like light reflects off of like water and it causes like that effect. I forgot the name of it. I I have that a lot, and he puts that effect a lot in maps. And this map kind of has a similar thing going where I've seen lighting that kind of looks like this, oddly enough. Like a lot of flashing lights and intense lights and just a purple look to things. It's really weird and this is gonna sound, this is gonna make me sound like a hippie or whatever, but I feel like the color purple tends to show a lot in dreams. I don't know why or how. We're definitely going to go down there later. Man, I don't want to miss anything, though. But yeah, like I said, I tend to see a lot of purple lights and a purple look to stuff. In maps, and... Usually, like, in dreams, the sun is always setting. It's, it's really odd. And... I feel like a lot of people have had similar experiences because I play these maps and I see, like, similar things like that. I don't know if this is based off a of real dream, like I said, but... Definitely feels like it might be based off of it somewhat. Like, lighting-wise, you know? I mean, because I've been playing so many of these Gary Mod maps, I don't even know what this piping would be for. Um, I've been having dreams about Gary's Mod. <laughs> Dream maps, and it is the coolest thing. It is so cool. <laughs> I get dreams about Gary's Mod Dream maps. And it's just... I had a dream, I was playing a Conical G map. It's kind of funny. It was like this weird desert map that he had made, and I had a dream about it. And then, kind of funny, because he released one recently, 
that was almost exactly like my dream, so I'm definitely going to play that. Sorry, I know that's random, but we are playing a dream map, so I feel like it's fitting. I'd rather not climb through a vent just to get to this room, by the way. Also... Okay, we're not going to do that, but... Half-Life has made the best physics in a game I've ever seen. It's just satisfying. Just breaking shit, you know? Lord! Okay, I was wondering if they broke down into smaller pieces. Sorry, right, I know that was just kind of a waste of time. But I do have to admit, it is fun to break stuff. Okay, we've been in a lot of these rooms here. I'm starting to kind of see where the map loops a little bit, which is good. We've been in here. Oh, Jesus, this wall scared me. I know that's random, but I was trying to turn right here. I thought that there was no wall here, so I was like, what the hell's in my way? Okay. This is where we started. Okay, so we didn't go down this way. We've been in here, <laughs> obviously. And, oh, that's creepy. We've been down there. Oh, this is creepy. I like how they have recycling bins, but not, like, just normal trash. As well. Oh, this is like the haunted version of the side we were playing in. Creepy. Creepy. Oh, this is creepy. I feel like I should be lit using a lantern because this dynamic lighting flashlight thing I have kind of makes things harder. Was there something sticking out of the wall? No, that was just the shadow. Shadow of the door knob. This is like the haunted side of the map, which is creepy. Okay. I wouldn't say it's the haunted side, but it's definitely the creepy side of things. You know what's really interesting about dreams is that You'll be in one spot, which isn't too bad, and then it's like you start getting dark thoughts, the entire place just turns into this absolute nightmare of a place. Dreaming is just such a unique thing, though. Like, it's, I mean, it's weird, you know? It's, I'm afraid to go into that room. Oh, shit. It's just... It's a thing that happens that we're so used to, like, if... If nobody had dreamed until, like, just all of a sudden, recently, somebody had a dream, they'd probably go insane because they don't know what the hell it is. Like, when people started encountering dreams back in the day, a lot of them thought it was, like, something to do with gods because that's what people, you know... Something unexplained happens, you just say, oh, it was because of god... Or something. It was some weird mystical force. And we still have these dreams, you know, that are just. They happen. And we don't really. We know how it happens. And whatnot. Okay, we're down here now. But yeah, like, we, we understand how it happens, but why, you know? Ooh. I'm not even gonna lie, I, I almost got freaked out because I saw this, and I thought it was like a face peeking out of the water. But we're in a pool room now. Do 
you guys watch a series of me talking about my dreams? Bro, are they teaching kids what's on the news? <laughs> Sorry. I'm not very careful when I walk around, am I? I know this is supposed to probably not be that, but it's just kind of funny to think that they're just teaching kids in here the news. There's a downstairs area? Downstairs? Oh my gosh, this is blue. That is so cool. I gotta say, this is actually my favorite like part of this map, oddly enough. I love the blue color for some reason. It's just, it doesn't make sense on why it's so bright, but it's just, and why it's even here. But the lighting is really cool. I like that shade of blue, actually, a lot. I'm not even going to lie. Makes me kind of want to try this water. <laughs> it's it's got to be some good water, right, Dr. Breen? Look, there's here's some right here. I drink. Pretty good. It tastes like water. Okay, we've been here, but we were on this side, right? Yeah, okay. There's another area, though, that we didn't go, I believe, here. Or did we go? No, we went down that way, so what's this way? Failure. That's, that's what's over here. Oh, there's nothing here. There's just... You know what, we'll look at the end. Because that is a door that we can remove. We're not going to do it now, as much as, as curious as I am. If you want to see it, stick around. Okay. I am getting kind of like... I am kind of walking around in circles. I do remember on the map, it did talk about... Uh, big apartments. And stuff. Sorry about the pause. You know, this is just lazy. You know, you got these recycling bins and then literally just recyclable stuff right here. You're like, I'm too lazy to walk all the way over here to throw this away, so I'm just going to set it here and hope that the, the next person will take care of it. Lazy, man. You know, my mind kind of went, I, I kind of realized that this isn't a kid's playground, but my mind kind of thought that just because I thought of this as like a sandbox, but now that I look at it, it's actually just gravel with shovels in it, and they're definitely like constructing, they're constructing things here. Like the middle stairs. Okay, we're back in here. We've looked at every room in this section. I know there's more, I just... Like I said, I suck at navigating because I end up going in the same areas. See, this is the playground right here, and this is like... Pretty bad. Of all the trash. You nasty bastards. Okay, so I was wondering where I'd find this. I was just thinking about that just now, actually. I was like, I wonder where I can find this spot. Oh, we've been here. We were up there. And... This area would be a good thumbnail picture. <laughs> what about this door? Nothing. Straight concrete, boy. I'm guessing this is out of bounds. I, I did no clip out. But now I'm curious, like, what if there's something back here that I'm not supposed to see? This this is kind of trippy to be here, too. It's like the, the outer areas of a dream area, you know? 
I definitely think that these like low quality buildings. Oh, okay, that's I'm not supposed to see that. I definitely think that these low quality buildings were actually meant to be here. You know, like they could have put a more like high quality buildings here, but I think that they put these here just because it like matches the dream. You know, like it, it fits the whole thing. Like, see, he could have, like, just made a building like this outside of this area, but instead he put these low-quality-looking things, which I think actually really work for this map. I don't know if he did that on purpose, but I feel like he did. And whether it's intentional or not, it's pretty damn cool. You're just here. I think I'm going to start no-clipping around, because I can't think of anywhere else I haven't been, you know? So I'm going to look at this from above. Okay, I do recognize most of these areas. Um, I can't quite recognize this place though. Oh, these are the the rooms, the rooms. Okay. What is this though? Oh, that, I know what that is. That's the where your mom fell. I don't know what this is though. And that Oh, okay, it's connected to this, which... I don't think we've been here. Where does this connect to? Is this... Have we been here? Yes, we have, obviously. This is where your mom fell. Alright, cool. <laughs> I'm a child sometimes, I'm sorry. Oh yeah, there's that one area that I did want to look. I'm just trying to remember where it was. It was a uh, big, big area. I think it was, it was here. Was it not? Wait, have I not been here? Where is it? What is this connected to? You know, it's interesting how these maps just kind of, like, mesh together in my brain sometimes. Okay. Okay, I know where we are. This is the room I said I don't want to go in. We went in. But we didn't go up here. Um, these Gmod maps just kind of mesh together in my mind, and I confuse them with other maps a lot of the time. Just because everything... I wouldn't say it looks the same, but has, like, same textures and whatnot, and I'm like, was that part of this map or another map? You know what I mean? But I but I do... This one's pretty recognizable, you know? Oddly enough. Hmm, I don't think we've been here. Have we? I feel like I've looked down this. We've been up here, haven't we? Yes, we have. Then why didn't I go this way any further? Oh yeah, because I didn't turn left. I remember saying, what if there's a gremlin creature right here? But well, we went down here. Yeah, that's where we entered. I was the gremlin creature all along. It all makes sense now, but we haven't gone up here. And this is... Part of the water area. I completely missed that vent. Okay. That's where your mom fell. Alright. Alright, cool. If I missed something, I apologize. But I do want to get to that one area. With the, uh... The door. There's a lot to this map, by the way. Like, I, I really appreciate that. About this. This room right here is really creepy. Okay. I'm not good at locating stuff. So I'm gonna I'm gonna pause it. Literally not even long after I paused it, I just found it, so we're gonna see. There could be probably there's probably nothing but Literally. It's just the wall. 
That is kind of funny. Cool. Pretty cool. Alright, that's it for this map then, I suppose. I do have to say, what is this area for, though? Nothing. This is just a... Oh, this is where you'd... Okay. You'd only be able to look out through there. Okay. I really like no clipping around these maps to see if there's, like, weird stuff out of bounds. You know? And it's really, really damn cool when you actually do find stuff out of bounds. And it's kind of, it, it kind of gives me chills because it's creepy to me. But anyways, that was this map. Sorry if I kind of zoomed through it. I tried, you know, looking at everything as much as possible. I liked it though. I, I really did. I like this gravel. It's my favorite part of the map right here. Love gravel. I love eating gravel. I think that gravel is necessary to society. I'm just kidding. Gravel is the most dumbest thing ever. Why did we create gravel? Why why don't we just make dirt path? You know? We don't need gravel. There's no use for gravel. They just pop your car tires. What are they going to do with this gravel, huh? Put it out in front here? I don't know. But whatever they're doing, I'm sure it's not necessary. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. <laughs> I shall see you all in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like if you liked the video. Please go support the original map creator. Go give it a Steam Award, man. They deserve to be up there. Maps like this deserve to be rated high because it's very well made. And uh, this is definitely up there with a lot of other dream maps I have played. Um, Yeah, go, go, go rate it. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, be safe, and goodbye.